So I want to make sure I'm saying it right. Golly. Let me get my thoughts together. Golly. I just heard some shit. And it, uh, you know how some, like, some things are like directed. Like the universe will be talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think that things are a coincidence. I, I feel like everything that we go through is for a reason. And usually what happens is there's a lesson that's involved. And um, I usually don't get the lesson till afterwards, you know what I'm saying? So my heart hurt. <laughs> oh, um. I don't know if it's going to be copyrighted or not, but I need you guys to hear it. When a woman has the power to walk away from a man that she loves, but he's not loving her back the right way, she allows the space that is necessary for her heart to heal. More importantly, when a woman can walk away from a man, when you can say to a man, okay, I'm done, I'm out of here. You then give that man the space he needs to gain clarity because sometimes access breeds blindness we're blind to what we have access to i would liken it to being in new york city at the empire state building if you're right there at the front door you can't see it <laughs> because you, you have direct access but the further away you are from it the more it comes so um you gotta be careful what i say you know once you put it on youtube it's on youtube however i, I always strive to be home. Um, Stop crying right now, okay? Are you crying? No. Not I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I always try to be honest and transparent because man, you can't lose that way. If, if if you open all the time, if you, you know what I mean, you can't have somebody can't use shit on you because nigga I already told I already told everybody that. That's look at us, you know what I mean? But for right now, where I am to fuck it's gonna be hard to edit yeah. i should just let it ride be to have started where we started from to have um met a woman that was 10 years younger than me that didn't have much to us getting married have a baby moving um all right my whole thing was when when we were married was to like make you better than you were when you got here you know what i'm saying like everything what like like for me was like to like push you to like be better to like you know what i'm saying to grow up you know what i'm saying like basically what it was in a nutshell to say that and when i look at the videos that i was in and like even even i had said like i, I just didn't like the way i was i was like acting I was like, damn, why, you know, why he acting like that? <laughs> I mean, that's me looking at me, but I was like, you know, I, something wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Like I had my family with me, you know what I'm saying? I, and then, so I'm in this two parts though. Cause I had my family with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm in this beautiful state of Alaska. Then we come to Texas, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, um, I'm able to get my family at home, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then like, Little by little, like, shit just start crumbling, and I couldn't, like, stop it. I couldn't fix it. And, I mean, that's from the CPS. That's from the the issues within the marriage. Oh, this, was for, oh, this, was, this was before Kalia got here. Um, and then we, we were okay for a minute. We, we were good, you know. And uh, the family would come from VA in New York to, to Texas and see the house. And, you know, I said, things were good. Key hours was, was, was doing good, making money on YouTube. Everything was working. And then it just started crumbling, man. And I just like, golly. So basically in a nutshell, so I won't talk you to death. I just, I, I, I really wasn't sure if the marriage was, didn't work because of, I didn't do what I was supposed to do as a husband, as a man or because it just didn't work because I didn't choose the right person. 
so that it had always it always stuck with me. You know, so I, I I had no problem being a being a bigger person and saying, hey, put it all on me. You know what I'm saying? But like deep down, man, like I I was I I thought I was content because like. I, I wasn't in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have women, you know what I'm saying? I, I was, you know, you know, th that was the life I wanted. I wanted a family life, you know? You know, and, and then that's when I started knowing that, figuring out that I had something else going on. Like, I, I was I was dead ass depressed. Like, I would be driving and a fucking song would come on and that should remind me of the relationship, you know what I'm saying? The marriage and the fucking, oh man, and it would just be like, I will just be, driving and crying and fucking you know what i'm saying one of the times i think we were going to va and Corey was with me and like he got to see that shit like firsthand and it was like it was you know um and i talked to him afterwards but that shit was heavy you know what i'm saying i was like man i am fucked up and it, it happened a couple of times um i think i was in the weight room i was in the gym and um you know it, it was it really just it was really bad for me and and then on top of, you know, us going back and forth on YouTube, us going back and forth, you know what I'm saying, with the kids. It, it was it was just, it was such an ugly, ugly event. I said, I, I wouldn't want to go back uh, to that. But the point I'm trying to make, I'm sorry to make this so long. The point I'm trying to make is where we are now. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm, I'm living with her. You know what I'm saying? Thank goodness she is where she is and she's stable and she's doing her thing. That I'm I, that she's able to, you know, what I'm saying support me while I'm um, taking this time to get myself together. You know what I'm saying? So much, much appreciated. I, I hope that none of you took this shit as uh, shade or anything like that. But that's on God. That's you know, that's that's what it was. That's what happened. And like I said, at the end of the day, I'm just grateful for you know everything. So like, it's crazy how everything happened, but. It, it kind of seemed like, and it sound, it's going to sound fucked up, but it seemed like it, everything had to happen for this to be, you know, for this to happen. I would have, I would have rather much us had a, a good, a good marriage and we would have just moved the fuck here once I got done with the army or I, I, I even want to try to uh, move to Fort Eustis or some shit. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm grateful. This, listen to this really fucked me up. But like I said, you got to be a grown up about it. You, and that's the only way to move forward is to be honest with your, yourself and other people and say, hey, there are some things that I said and did that, you know, I wish I wouldn't have done. And, you know, even though it doesn't help anything, you know what I'm saying, from the past, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? It take, takes a lot to fucking. So when you ask that question, have we had those deep conversations? No, because it's probably going to be emotional. And, and I hate seeing her cry and I hate crying. And it's going to be, it's just going to be a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't know. But that's just my side, yo. I was like, it just, it, it just hit me. Um, it, it, it lingers on me constantly. That's the reason why I move the way I move when I, when I'm dealing with women. That's the way I. That's probably why I won't get married again. It, it's because, yeah, that shit. It affected me very fucking much. That was the reason why I was so motherfucking disgruntled. Hello, that was that was the reason why I was so disgruntled on YouTube. I, my 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 voice had to be heard because I'm like, listen, y'all not feeling me, <laughs> y'all. You know what I mean? But um, I'm 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 grateful for where we, like for where we are. Um, it, it is a little awkward. It, it is. Um, I'm almost like walking on eggshells. What am I looking at? I'm, I'm like walking on eggshells. Um, not that she's doing anything to make me feel uncomfortable. It's just that like I feel out of place because Kiara's been doing this shit by herself. For all this fucking time, you know what I'm saying? She don't need me, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I just try to like fit and see where I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, myself. You know what I mean? Like, wh where do you need me? That's why I like when she was like, uh, she was, uh, uh, I think one of you uh, commented, I don't know if you were being an asshole or what, but she was like, one of the comments was like, change the fucking, um, what's it called, smoke detector. Anyway, I tried it, nigga, and I couldn't do it. Anyway, don't laugh at me. I, I was trying to do it. <laughs> anyway, I didn't want to break it, but uh, uh, it's like pasted. It's like the motherfuckers painted the shit on the wall. Like, you know how you got the paint? The paint was going on the wall. You take the smoke detector off, and then you paint, but they painted it over the smoke detector. So I just didn't want to mess it up. I don't want to make anything worse. I don't want to ruffle no feathers. I don't want to argue what you need. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> 
um, until we get into the flow. And um, she, she's getting ready to leave. So that'll give me and the kids a few days for ourselves. And, you know, we'll talk and, you know, get our bonding on and everything like that. But it's going to take some time. Like I said, uh, if we end up moving, which I don't think we will, uh, or let me say this, if we end up moving together, <clears throat> which I don't think we will. If it's the best move for everybody, then we'll do that. I mean, because that way, because, you know, I like to have my whole family. That means, you, hey, Corey going to be over here. Kobe going to be over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, look, look, look. Alina going to be over here. Uh, Silas, gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole fam's going to be over. So if we need to get a bigger space, you know what I'm saying, to to accommodate that, that's fine, too. Like I said, no, no, no disrespect. I love Zakia. I really don't even want to talk about her because I don't. I don't ever want to feel like she's being um, spoken about without a way to defend herself. And but at, first of all, I don't even want her to even feel like she has to defend herself. She doesn't fucking have to. It was her. It was. It was a mutual decision that it was best for her to stay um, in Texas where she has support that she felt more comfortable at. I said that's not what I wanted. But I said at the end of the day, as long as Kobe's here. I'm good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking good, I'll make it work. Like I said, um, the only difference between now and me being in the army with one two-year-old Corey is I'm not in the army no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna discuss my motherfucking pay with y'all niggas, but I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm i going to uh, do my thing. I'm, I'm, I'm working on some stuff now, but I probably won't, won't work for a few, few years if I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, like, I'm, I'm I'm blessed to be like that, and I'm just gonna focus on my children. So hell yeah, Kobe asked me right here. Uh, I talk, hey, if you heard my other video, him and motherfucking Silas gonna be like that. And I already told Zakia, and I said, I, you know, sometimes you don't want to put stuff out in the air too early. And I always, and I'm practicing my shit too. Dads don't say too much. But I already told Zakia what I what I I don't want to say my plan is gonna sound fucked up, but I already told her what I felt like is gonna happen once she comes visits. All right, so I'm not gonna say it right now, <clears throat> but I also kind of, I, I also kind of want to say it because I'd be like, well, yeah, Dad said that. But I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful to have healthy children. I'm grateful to be in a position where I'm um, a able to be in a cordial relationship with my with my ex-wife and the family, and it's all love. And I'm grateful to be able to mend uh, our relationships that were severed because of the divorce. So I'm slowly working back and in, back and in, back into that. So my bad, but I'm, I'm working on it. So uh, yeah, I I could work. There's nothing saying that I can't work. I, I you know what I hate when I, when I hate the most about you know I'm saying I love you guys that have an opinion. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have an opinion. That's life. I'm not ever asking anybody to be no fucking robot. Excuse me. Yes, I cuss. I have my arm hurt. I've been going to the gym, y'all. My shit hurt. I'm trying to look good this summer. My damn body hurt. You can tell I haven't been going, and that's my fault. Um, also, something else that I, I found out that I have, I have ADHD. I didn't know I had it. I thought when I changed topics like that, that's just me. I thought that was just the way I go you know when i'm when i'm talking or whatever but i didn't know it was a i used to always hear about it but i didn't know what it was <clears throat> i thought it was just that you know you lose track of thought i know my lips dry shut up I'm fix this. this video is brought to you by carmex please stop i don't want this to be an awkward video i don't want it to like I said, I, it's, ne it's never intended to be shade. I think we are very much uh, past that. There's no reason. There's no reason to go. So, and that's why I said I don't want to go back to that. If we're gonna have those those feelings, and I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't, I don't ever want to do that shit. If we ain't got to bring it up ever, then we won't. But anyway, listen. <clears throat> I spent 20 minutes with Deshaun. Corey's mama, she's beautiful. I always, I always say that, and and I'm sorry that fit, you know makes you feel type of way. If if you real, I don't know, I, you know, I'm not, you know what? If I'm 41, I don't, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sorry that I feel. I don't, I don't care. I'm telling you how I feel. She is gorgeous. I, I when I look at her, I'm like, I picked the right one, 
Amen. Okay. Gorgeous, brown skin, chocolate, mm, voluptuous. Amen. I'm, I'm grateful. I, I watched the way she parents with our son. And um, I, I'll say this. Daddy is motherfucking home. And we got some work to do. But I'm, I'm here to do it. Another reason why maybe a job isn't, you know, the best thing for me. Laws, you know what? Let me let me just break. Hold on. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what ADAD or if when it hit me, I have to get it. As a man, I ain't even gonna say as no black man, but I'm gonna say as a man. I am a black man, but as a as a man, I am worthless. Y'all, most of my freaking viewers out here, y'all women. I don't know if men out here, but y'all listening. If you, if if a man ain't bringing no finance to the home, y'all look at that nigga as worthless. He ain't bringing no money. I, I wish if a man ain't got no job and he's on the couch or, you know, whatever, he ain't bringing no bacon and you working and you, uh, y'all looking at him like he ain't nothing. So look, so you like, damn, dad's lazy. It ain't that. Hold on. I'm not lazy. I worked 20 years. I work, hold on, look at the camera. I worked 20 fucking years in the army. I served my country. All right. Y'all had every fucking chance to serve y'all country. Y'all failed to do so. For whatever reason. Well, I served my shit. That shit, I'm done. So, I'm retired. So, I have the option, goddamn. <laughs> and I don't, I don't fuck, I need to say this. But I have the option to not work. Okay? My mind fucked up, as you see. Um, My body, you know, it does what it do, when it do, what it want to do. I'm talking, oh, we going to talk about the body. We gonna talk about the betrayal of the motherfucking body. Well, you think you know your body, right? Woo! We gonna speak on it. But uh, I forgot where I was. Oh, that's terrible. Hello. <laughs> hey, hey, check me out. Hey, I, I had to go back and watch the video. Every bullet that I dodged that didn't hit me. Hunter, I'm glad you okay, bro. And hit Hunter. He just got him in the shoulder. Praise God he could. For every missile that didn't hit us, that I still get haunted by the whistling sound as it passed. For every explosion that didn't kill us, rest in peace, Lieutenant Kirk. For every bomb and missile that was shot at my vehicle that for some reason didn't explode and didn't go off. I can't sleep. <laughs> PTSD, depression, anxiety, nigga, ADHD, you name it, I'm finding new shit. Everything was worth it because I don't have to work another fucking day in my life if I don't want to. If you ain't got shit going for yourself, I suggest you get your ass in this military. But that's just me, though. Know. Hey, please stop looking at the shit negative. Oh, oh God, like for real. But I ain't, I ain't with the negative shit. And I really, really mean that. Like some stuff I've been on, but I ain't with that shit, man. We on some, we on some positive vibes. So listen, I'm gonna be here for about three to six months. On, on guy, and this have no disrespect, but he already need help. You know what I mean? And I'm here to help. So, so we good. As long as we had that understanding. Hey, <laughs> she be like, go to your dad, go to your dad. I'm like, ah, right, come here. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to take it off her, and that's that's a hundred. I want to take it off you. I don't know if you watch my video. But I want to take it off you, you know what I'm saying? Go for the weekend. Go for the fucking week. I got the kids. You know what I'm saying? The little morning routine. No disrespect, no shit. That shit's it's too easy. It's nothing, you know what I'm saying? I was like, once you do Harvey, you, you can do any fucking thing. So but it's too easy, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm here. If they have a function at school, I'm here. Corey having things going on at banquet football, I'm here. Hey, I told Corey, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're here. Well, all right, be careful. You're going to be like, in a, in, a, in a few weeks, few months, he's like, damn, dad, I wish you would go. I wish you had to leave. No, nah, I ain't going no fucking way. I'm right here. I'm here. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm here. Um, if it comes to the point, y'all, that I have to work, and I'm going to work big bucks, and I'm going to work long hours, that's that trip money. That's that. That's that new car money. That's that new house money. You know what I'm saying? Like, but just maintain it, just staying at home, paying a, you know what I'm saying, money on that that's no, that's not I can do that. And yes, I'm still supporting Texas. 
I was still supporting that. I was still, I was still supporting that household. I was still supporting that. I, I'm always gonna support her. Um, so the thing is, though, hey, if Cor if Kobe's up here, I don't know. <laughs> I thought, like, ah, 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 Kobe up here. I don't need you to send me shit, but don't expect me to send you no money. All right, that's, that's later, but come on. Bye, y'all.